A long time ago, in an island that was cut off from the world, there ruled a cruel king by the name of King Victor. You can see this is King Victor right here. And he's about to execute this prisoner by the name of Ross. And you can see Ross is crying. These are the tears that he's crying. And I don't know, maybe King Victor felt a little generous that day. And so he gave Ross an offer. You see, this King Victor was obsessed with maths, and in particular, equations. You see, he knew the equation for a line. He knew what that was. He knew equations for curves, you know, the ones that look like smiley faces and stuff. But he did not know the equation for a circle. And none of his court members could figure that out. So he said to Ross that if you can figure this out, I'll let you live. And so Ross started thinking. This was a matter of life and death for him. So he set to work. He drew an axis, an X, a Y axis, and then an X axis. And he drew a circle. He must have drawn it more perfectly than I did. And then the first question that he started thinking on was what is a circle really? Sure, it's this round, perfect shape that goes on forever. And we see this in all, in many things in the universe, this is the sun, the moon. But what is the definition of this circle that we could use? And after some time, he stumbled upon the idea of the center of the circle. And once he found the center, he realized that any point on the circle was the same distance from the center. Like, if he drew a line like this, this distance, he called it the radius or r, this distance was the same anywhere on the circle if he went to a point like this. This distance, sorry, let me erase that. So this distance was also r, and so was this. And so the definition of a circle is essentially all the points, all the set of points that are the same distance from a center. And he called the coordinates of this center h, comma, k. And he let an arbitrary point on the circle have the coordinates x, comma, y. So this could be any point on the circle. And now, and now we could use the distance formula to find the distance between two points. We know how to do that. And the distance formula actually comes from the Pythagorean theorem. Actually, let me draw this in a slightly better way. This line. Okay. So instead of this one being x, y, wait. So this point now is this is x comma x comma y. So if we if I draw so Ross what he figured out was he drew a line that was a vertical line here that was the vertical distance between the y coordinates of these two points. So here is y and here is k. And so the vertical distance between these two points here is would be a y minus k because this is y this is k, so it would be y minus k. Let me raise this extra line here. And now, if I draw a horizontal line, let me do that in a different color. Yes, I'm going to choose blue. So, for a horizontal line, once again, we're going to do the same. So, this is h and this is x so this distance this horizontal distance is going to be x minus h and now because because this is a vertical line and this is a horizontal line this angle has to be a 90 degree angle and so both these lines are perpendicular and from our Pythagorean theorem we know that the square of this length plus the square of this length would be equal to the square of the hypotenuse. And so, we know that x minus h squared plus a y minus k squared would be equal to an r squared. And we just used the distance formula, which 
came, comes from the Pythagorean theorem indeed and this is the general form for the equation of a circle. So if you give me any center with the coordinates h comma k and a radius r, I can give you, Ross could now give you the equation of a circle. For instance, if you said, let me give you an example. If you said that there's a circle with a center of 3 comma 5 and a radius of 2 units, the equation would simply be x minus a 3. In this case, in our h is a 3 whole squared plus a y minus a 5 because our k here is a 5 whole squared and all of that equal to 2 squared which is going to be 4. That's your equation for the circle. And when the king saw what Ross did, he was really impressed because it all seemed intuitive and derived from concepts that he knew before. And so, not only did he let Ross live, but he also married Ross to his daughter Rachel. And I guess they lived happily ever after.